Welcome back. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Not the sharpest uh, tool in the box, apparently. Or maybe she was doing it intentionally. Okay, so apparently those three spheres mean we're done now. But since we have to go further up, I guess we do actually have to go into the next set of spheres, somehow. And I'm guessing it involves going there, because you can portal there! This leads towards the exit. Thank you for your participation. wonder how many people actually got here. Elevator to surface. That's what we want. Cave Johnson again. And of course, we are denied the elevator to surface. No, we're gonna have to do things the hard way. As is always the case. Pump station beta. Because we have to pump more repulsion gel. To the next set of chambers, perhaps? Wait, we actually have two different ones. We have the blue one, gel flow, and the orange one. Are they actually different, or...? I guess we'll find out. No controls here. supposed to turn this on or something. That's usually how this goes. I'm guessing we need to get there. fling myself from there, but that does not accomplish anything in the there. Oh, wait, I need to fling from to there. I'm thinking this is going to be a multi-step process. And I'm right. That is locked, presumably until we turn on the pump, because otherwise we'd get stuck in the next test chambers. There are two of them. I guess this one connects to pump station Alpha, and this... See, blue ones come from Alpha, and then here we have the orange ones. And there's the surface, with a car and people on it, because otherwise we wouldn't realize what surface meant. Well, that's bumping away, and the door opened, so that's good. Okay, uh, I seem to recall being stuck here for a while as well, when I first played this game. But, unlike with the door thing, I don't recall what the solution is, so... Let's hope uh, I can figure it out more quickly this time. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. 
You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now, you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Sounds like um, Aperture was falling on hard times and could no longer afford astronauts. There is a bird up there. Moving platform. Use handrails. Keep to the left. Do not litter, do not loiter, do not touch glass. That goes nowhere. Except, I guess that goes up or down. When activated in a way, that makes sense. We can go inside here. KF Johnson and his receding hairline, apparently. The subject waiting area. Slightly less plush than the last one. You know, I would feel sorry, but if they were even slightly more um, financially sensible, that uh, would not have been a problem. You can buy a yacht for $60, apparently. Maybe you can buy that poster for $60. That sounds a lot more believable. Also, missing astronauts in 1968. I don't remember that. And I know quite a lot about the space program. Remember, alert your supervisor if you see OSHA inspector. <laughs> okay. Department of Energy inspector. GAO accountant. Undercover police officer. Nuclear regulatory commissioner. FEMA coordinator. Ordinary police officer. Journalist. Public works inspector. MSHA mine inspector. ATF, FBI, U.S. Marshal. So basically anybody who could possibly object to anything that Aperture is doing. Which is pretty much everyone at this point. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Nineteen seventy-one. I'm guessing that's when this was built. I'm also guessing that we need to get up there to the conveniently labeled control room, and I'm guessing that that involves flinging from there. And I'm guessing that in order to do that, we first need to go up there. And I missed. Okay, so further to the left then. Left as seen from there, that, that's what I meant. Um, okay, control room. Oh, hi. GLaDOS! Hey, you're good at murder. Could you ow, murder this bird for me? Oh, oh thanks. We can scare it off anyway. Do you do? 
In fact, I like it less because I'm the one who got partially eaten by a bird. Well, I don't think we have much of a choice. I I the bird. Pick me up. So we're going to have to Listen trust to we had our old enemy. Testing and antagonizing each other. And yes, sometimes it went too far. But we're off the clock now. It's just us talking, like regular people. And this is no joke. We are in deep trouble. The game is telling you what to do, in case you hadn't figured it out yet, I guess. Any more dialogue? No. Well, I guess having GLaDOS with us could be useful in a few places, and it's not like she can do much to us anyway. Whether or not we'll actually reinstall her at the end, I'll have to think about that. Getting angry, also not a good idea. Well, that's the elevator control, which seems to be fried now. That can happen if there's a bird that makes a nest on it. So we need to get up there without the ability to call that elevator back down. Question is how? Can I just fling on there in a straight line? Which I think would be from there. That seems to make the most sense. Yes. Okay, apparently this was not one of the places where I was horribly stuck. Or if I was, I was incredibly stupid back then. Because it wasn't actually all that hard. Going for a logo again, that happens quite a lot. I see what you did there with the whole aperture thing. Also, GLaDOS said she felt it when we stabbed the potato. How does that make sense? Chapter 7 The Reunion And no, nothing really did happen. Well, um, it's kind of a short video, but since this is a new chapter, I think we'll continue in the next video.